right guys, we just landed at the Honiara International Airport here in the Solomon Islands. All right, you guys, I'm so excited. I'm gonna go meet my friend Alex, uh, who lives here in the Solomon Islands. He's from the United States. Uh, I'm just so excited for this place. So when you get here to the airport, there is no ATMs. Um, there are taxis, but you know they would have to take you to an ATM to get cash. So I'm actually going to walk over to this Puya Cafe and Grill. Kuya Cafe was so nice. I gave them USD. They gave me some Solomon uh, dollars and change. Um, and yeah, I'm just headed over to my friend's place now. I should also mention I have T-Mobile and uh, no service here at all, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, that's completely fine. Um, you know, I'll just kind of use Wi-Fi and I'm kind of used to it by now, not having service in the South Pacific. So um, that's not a problem at all. I'm just really, really excited. Um, everyone's so friendly here and uh, it's just so pretty already. And yeah, I just can't wait to go explore. The Europeans found so much gold when they came to the Solomon Islands that they actually named the region of the South Pacific the Solomon Islands after King Solomon from the Old Testament. Uh, they made up a story. Of course, they knew this wasn't true, but they said, hey, there's so much gold here. This must be where King Solomon got all of the gold for the temple in the Old Testament. So that's how the Solomon Islands uh, got its name. Malaita Island. Uh, uh, Malaita, Malaita, I'm, I'm from Malaita province. Malaita province. Yeah. Oh, oh, uh, gotcha. This island oh. is water canal. Oh, oh. How, the, how many people live on this island? <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so we have uh, uh, nine, nine provinces. Nine provinces, okay. Uh, different islands, different languages. Oh, uh, okay. What, uh, what? So we, 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 we all speak peach and English. Peach and English? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> I see. Not, not, not really English, but we, uh, like a broken English. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what other language do you speak besides, uh, besides peach and English? Besides peach and English? Yeah, we, do you we speak, speak our own language? Yeah, what, what's your language called? What's the uh, native tongue called? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> we, we, we we all totally different languages. We we we, we have nine provinces, yeah. different islands around Solomon Island. Right. So all the islands have their own uh, language. Their own language. Yeah. yeah. So we all speak pidgin English. If I want to speak to uh, someone from this, this island, yeah. I have to speak pidgin English. Oh, oh, I see. To communicate to each other, you don't yes, you don't understand yes. other. Oh, because okay. Because if I speak my language, she has, she has but what, understand what? What do you call your native your other language that you speak? What's the name of the language? The other language, not that pidgin English, but the the other languages. What are the names of them? Wait, wait, you don't call them a name, it's just, it's just kind of what you, what you, uh, kind of the, just the, it's just what you know, like the native tongue? I don't, I don't understand what you say. Oh, like, uh, what's the, what's the language called that you speak, like French, German, English, what, what's that, what's your native tongue, uh, what's the name of the native language that you speak? Not English, but the other language. What's it called? We, we call it, uh, uh, what's that? Uh, It's 
don't know uh, which, 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 like uh, France or Germany. Uh huh. Yeah, they speak their own language. Yeah, they call it a, a different name. Yeah? Do you know the name of it? The different name though that they call it. Is it? Right, uh, we are uh, the Malaita people. We call it. Uh, Maramasika language. Maramasika. Yeah, Maramasika. Maramasika. Ah, uh, okay, Maramasika. Okay. Ah, uh, very cool. So are you from? I'm from the U.S. You from U.S.? Yeah, I'm from the U.S. So how long have you been to Solomon? Oh, I'm just here for five days. Yeah, this is my first time visiting. Oh, this is your first time? Yeah, uh, yeah. You see, uh, uh, on the other, walking on the, uh, the construction on the road. Oh, so, yeah. Uh, uh, because we will host the uh, South Pacific game. Oh, you're um, hosting the South Pacific games here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh wow. Then, so, this is the Japanese walking on the road. Oh, gotcha. I see that. So the Japanese are sponsoring this new road and you guys are hosting the South uh, Pacific Games. That's wow, that's really cool. So I will show you the stadium and books, books, these buildings also for the South Pacific Games. Oh, is this with China? China is building that, yes. not the Japanese. Yes, oh, okay. There's a large Chinese population here. I, I saw oh, there's Chinatown yes. and everything. Yeah. Wow. National Stadium over here. Oh, very cool. Oh yeah, I have some um, insect cream, awesome. but thank you. <laughs> okay. This is so unique. It used to be a kid's playground. I mean, this is like, this is so cool to come see like con converted from a kid's playground into a home. Oh my goodness. That's Tony Ara High School. Wow. I think they're burning something right now. Yeah, <laughs> burning some trash maybe. Yeah, that's difficult. Oh my goodness. And there's like a mini home gym here. Very neat. I don't even think we have the equipment though right now. But yeah. Oh, so this is the gym area. We do like the yoga sessions here and stuff. Wow, that's really cool. And there's an American flag. Yeah, I don't know
my gosh. This is so, wow. Oh my goodness. You can see there's the flag, I'm not sure if it's up anymore, but there's the flagpole over there that's the tallest flagpole in the Pacific. What, um, really? Yeah, and that's the port over there as well. Yeah, wow. you can see the flag right there. Yeah. Uh, the I'm blind. See on the left side. Oh, I see it. Yeah. It's right. It's yeah. that one you right there. Yep. Oh, and is that uh, Savo Island? Savo. Savo? Oh, yep. Savo Island. Oh, yep. wow. That's where the volcano is. Exactly. Oh, my goodness. And that's the oh, this is so cool. And you can see the bridge over there to get into the city. Wow. And Chinatown is down there. Oh, okay. Chinatown's down there. Yep. Oh, that's awesome. Hi, Sifter. Sifter, are you going to eat some food? Are you going to have some food? Yum, 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 yum. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, look. Oh. Don't, don't just jump in there, baby. You can have all of it, though, Sifter. He'll get sick if he does. Yeah, you'll get sick and you'll get fat. Yeah, well, he's you gotta lose the Oh, are you excited? Oh, really? Yeah, it was very sad. I know. I hate seeing all the dogs that are... Um, they're starving. Well, I don't want to say starving, but like malnourished. Kind of oh my gosh, it makes me so sad. Oh, <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Did you get some food? Was he was he hard to um, become friends with? Like, was he really skittish? Oh, yeah, they were. Yeah. They were both, there was another one. They were both very, like, skittish at first. But now you're just a big cutie that likes to eat food. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're so cute. Aww. Oh, yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> the chick, I mean, it's just like here. If you want, Kiki does the pop. Oh, he's shaking. Shake. <laughs> Shake. Shake. Good job. Good job. Good <laughs> job. Oh, hi. Hello. Oh, what a sweetie. You're such a sweetie. Arlo. Oh. oh. So, um... The one thing with the security is usually they are around until like maybe 10 p.m. Okay. So if you're planning to stay out, oh, oh. there you are. Hi, Arlo. Oh. Plan planning to stay out later than you, um, let them know. Uh huh. Or just let me know even. Yeah. Um, and then I'll just make sure someone's around to open the gate. Okay, thanks. Okay. So if you want to go directly to Chinatown, there's a shortcut road there. Yeah. Shortcut roads are kind of just like these, like, it's basically like hiking, right? Mm -hmm. It's just very, not like a well-defined path, but you can, you can do that pretty quickly that way. Okay. And there's um, a path I'm going to take you down now that brings you through a village. Tabio is, thank you. Yeah. Okay. That's the most important one for you. Tabio. Have you tried beetle nut? Uh, one time. <laughs> yeah? How was that? Not great. <laughs> yeah, it's so bad for your teeth. Yeah. yeah. It's also, I think you chew it with like lime or something too. That's why it becomes yeah, fun. every Pacific Island has their own way of doing it. Yeah. A lot of people do it with lime. I've, I've seen that. They also do it in other countries like India. They have something called yeah. pan. Yeah, and I've been to India. I saw that too when I was over there. How was it? I didn't like India. Uh, people love it or hate it, you know? Yeah, I think that's what I've heard. They either absolutely love it or absolutely hate it. Yeah, I went to Mumbai and toured the slums there. I did New Delhi and Agra, and I didn't like it that much, to be honest, but yeah, well, to it's be, okay. To be fair, Agra is like the worst place in the whole country. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, have you, have you been there? Yeah, I was there the whole two years of COVID. No! my favorite bit up here. Oh, this is so pretty. Look at all the purple. Yeah. Do you know what kind of plants these are? No idea. Really pretty. I'm gonna ask somebody. I'm sorry. Hello. 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 Hi. <laughs> Evening. Good evening. <laughs> See in uh, Melanesia, one thing is the some of the hair is like a blonde color. Oh, that's so cool, isn't it? Yeah, it's very nice. Oh, they're so cute. Oh my gosh. There's a local church here also. Uh, do you know what the majority religion is? Christianity. Like Protestant, Methodist, or? Um, I 
think Catholic actually. Oh. Maybe. Okay. I'm not, no, it must be Church of England because. Uh, do you want to take a photo? It's awesome. Thanks so much, you guys. Tabio. Tabio Tomas. Thank you. Look at me. Yeah. See you next time. Oh, see you next time. Me, me, me welcome you. Look at look at like, uh, me. Look at me. I'll let those guys go a little bit ahead. A little bit sketch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Right. to <laughs> This, this is inventive here. Look at this. <laughs> it's okay. I don't. It's all right. No, it's okay. I don't want to do it. Okay. I'm worried I'll fall in. Really? Yeah, yeah. They keep going back and forth. That's their job. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, do you pay them? Yeah, you pay them. Yeah, you don't bring oh yourself gosh. across. They bring you across. Oh. And you, you get to oh, you sit, sit there, yeah. Oh, or you stand. Wow. Yeah, or you stand, yeah. Wow, that's really inventive. I think these they charge you, um, I think one solo and dollar to go across. Oh, okay. So it's up to you. <laughs> oh my gosh. It kind of feels unsteady, doesn't it? No worries. <laughs> oh, it's really mm. shallow. It's that's a little bit of rocking. No, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's really shallow, though, you guys. You can see the, the bottom. It's only about a foot and a half deep, maybe. And it takes you across the river. This is so cool. <laughs> Here, I'll take a video photo of you. I'm thinking that this is um, Catholic because it has a center aisle, and usually Protestant churches don't have that center aisle. Oh, okay. They don't get married in the church because it was in England. It was banned years ago. Uh, this is yeah. probably Catholic. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. I'm actually not sure. But maybe they just they just decided to do a center aisle and it's a Protestant church. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. So this is day number two in the Solomon Islands. I think I'm going to head to dinner um, with my friend Alex. The entire day, I've just been so tired. I've just been basically sleeping all day. Um, I'm going to try to go to Savo Island tomorrow, but we'll see what happens because with the boats and the schedules, um, everyone's on island time, so you never really know when you're gonna go or if you're gonna go. Um, I contacted a company that is a local company here in the Solomon Islands, but they haven't really given me a definite answer um, if we're gonna go or not. So I just don't know if we're gonna make it over there tomorrow. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens. Hey guys, the sushi restaurant was so hard to find, but it's right next to Heritage Park. You have to go out to the main road and turn right from Heritage Park. Um, but I finally made it here. Hopefully this is a good place. I'm supposed to meet Alex here and I think he's already here. Hi. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. No, it's a huge, it's just each state is different, you know? Alex, what did you order? Um, that's a good question. I'm not sure. I'm going to eat it and hope for the best. It's a vegetarian dish. It's a vegetarian this dish a, of some sort. A smoked salmon roll. This looks really amazing. And then they're going to bring in some other stuff too. You guys, we got some black sesame ice cream and some matcha. And it's so good. This place is amazing. It's a Japanese restaurant. waste food yeah, and then it goes the... to the is this an so this is a crocodile not yeah. an alligator uh, i'm not sure but probably and this is the small one also oh my gosh <laughs> oh one. my gosh you guys they just keep they just keep this thing in here is it is it going to be eaten do they Sorry? get do they get eaten do you eat the is no no do like do you it, Asking, you like them, kai kai the alligator? No. Oh, <laughs> we we eat them. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Seriously? Yeah. In the United States, we have them in uh, Florida, and in the South, we eat uh, we eat alligator. Yeah. Yeah. I like them, kai kai alligator too much. 
<laughs> yeah, in Australia. <laughs> in Australia, we eat them too. <laughs> well, does everybody like something different, you know? <laughs> oh no, you're kidding. Wait, so you why are they in here? If you're not gonna, if you don't eat them, then they, are they like pets or why do you, why do you keep them in here? I don't know. Really? It's the owner, or the Chinese owner. Maybe yeah. they're gonna eat them. Maybe. Yeah. You see this one? No, oh my God. Yeah. It's kind of mean though, don't you think? Because yeah, there's look, fucking uh, trash everywhere. Yeah. yeah, this is mean. Oh, yeah, not, this poor thing. Not great. It doesn't have water either. It, they they need water. Yeah, they need water and food and probably Aww. no plastic. It's so they keep them in here and is. they throw their trash on them. Oh uh, yeah. God, that's terrible. Oh, that uh, poor thing. I'm not really sure they supposed to throw the trash, but I think they mostly throw Aww. their food scraps. Yeah. And somehow the trash gets in there. Yeah. Aww. Things. Yeah. Okay. That you weren't expecting that. Nope. So, so Alex, that lady was really yeah. freaked out that we eat alligator oh, yeah. in the United States. Some of us do. You don't. Yeah. But what's Another the craziest reason, yeah. thing that you've seen in the Solomon Islands when you've been living here? Oh, definitely her. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> I'm serious. What, what's some crazy stuff? You've been living uh, here I saw for... people do the spear festival, throw spears at each other. Yeah, for fun, they spear each other. Uh, it's like the purge. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take a look at this one right here. There's all kinds of crazy stuff here, you guys. You guys, this boat got damaged in a storm, so instead of moving it or doing something with it, they just leave it over here. Crazy place. And then these boats are used for the South uh, Pacific Games. Those uh, individuals are going to go on to the Olympics, so that's pretty cool to see. This is called the Coconut Club. It's like a little little bar. No, I don't listen to Justin Bieber. Well, that's the... Disney song, you know? So that's the PH Club? Yeah. Ah, that's cool. Well, that's this place is called the Park Hotel, I think, in Sullivan Islands. No, it's called Heritage Park, I'm sorry. But this is um, probably their nicest hotel that they have here. Would you say this is their nice, nicest hotel? Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. So if you guys are here, you want to have the hotel experience, you can come stay at Heritage Park. It's pretty nice. So you guys, um, it's about, I think it's 6.38 right now and the power has been out for two hours. Um, there's no AC, there's no uh, Wi-Fi, like nothing, just complete power outage. This is my last night in the Solomon Islands, but um, this is something that Solomon run into every single day when they're living on the island. It's mostly due, and this is speculation, so um, take this with a grain of salt, but this is what I've heard from a lot of locals here in uh, Honiara it's it's because the Japanese are building the roads here in Honiara and the Chinese are building the stadium they don't get along so when they're building these um, this infrastructure in the country uh, because they're not working together it causes power outages for the local people in the country so they go through these really long uh, periods where the power is just completely out and there's nothing that they can do about it so all right guys, so this is my third day in the Solomon Islands and we are trying to go to Savo Island or Savo Island. Um, and it has been very difficult trying to get a straight answer. We're just speaking to, he's also in the group. We're, all three of us are in the group. Yeah, we're all coming. Three of you? Yes. Sorry? Yes. So I, I mean, your group is three of you, right? Yes. Uh, uh, you plus another two, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. 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 We are at the Point Cruise Yacht Club. Okay. We're we're coming there. We're waiting for the taxi to come pick us up. We're on our way. Hello. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You are. Bye bye. Okay. We'll see you soon.
Bye-bye. Is it going to be a girl? A girl? She is... Bernard, it's one group of three. Just one group, not two. He's with me. We're all three in a group for today. It's just one group of three. Sorry? It's just one group of three. I was just talking to you. Oh. We're all in the same group. We're, we're all coming today. There's no group of three tomorrow. It's just today we're coming. All three of us are coming. So you, it's not that to, uh, We're so together. Okay, he was, he was uh, uh, the one that we, uh, I, uh, I, I, I know, I know, but we are free, just three now. No, 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 you confuse me. Yeah. Oh yeah, but uh, we try to <laughs> to be clear. No, 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 to be clear since a long day, a long time now. We'll read your message, our message. I'm glad we got that figured out. Sorry. I'm glad we got that figured out. Yeah, because right, it was it, there was no tomorrow. I I don't. Yeah, it, it's okay, just just today. It's not tomorrow. We're just gonna grab the boat today and not tomorrow. That that's clear, no? That's clear. No, no, I'm not clear. Now I know it's not clear. Okay, okay, okay. okay I, I know. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll see you soon. See you in 30 minutes. Actually? See you in 30 minutes. We'll see you in well, 30 minutes. Okay. okay. 11 o'clock. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the plan. Mm -hmm. Okay. See ya. Hello? Uh huh? Uh, sorry, just one uh, question. Mm -hmm. uh, is uh, the other two. Yes. yes. Oh, okay. So, what were you saying? You 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 going over for sleep? You mm -hmm. the other time. I mean, we talk. No, we're gonna go for one day. We want to come back the same day. Oh, you make me really confused. Oh, I'm sorry about that. No, no, you have to stay like. It's not possible according to what the, I, the rate that I gave you. Yeah. What do you mean? Different. Oh, what, what do you mean? It will be different. It will be different. Yeah, because you will go and then come back today. Unless you go tomorrow, then all of you can share the course. Uh, what, what do you mean by price difference? What do you mean by that? For day three, yeah. Yeah, what, what difference would it be? What's the price difference? Wait, I'll work it out and I'll send it to you. Yeah. Because yeah. you, you told me you're going to go and sleep. So I include you with another uh, people. But now you go and then you come back today. Uh, so what's the price difference? Okay, I'll walk uh, out your price and I'll let you know. Yeah. yeah. So we're here at Point Cruise Yacht Club and we're trying to find uh, the boat to get on to go to Savo. This is kind of what it looks like here.
right guys, we made it here. It took about an hour and a half to get over here and the boat only died like five or six times. So uh, not, not a problem at all. I think they're gonna come pick us up around four or 5 p.m. So we have maybe two or three hours to go explore the island. Uh, we're gonna try to go snorkeling with dolphins and climb up a hill or a volcano. So we're super, super excited. Gucci learning how to do fetal net. It's hard. Okay, let me start it for you. Give it. If you have a knife. No, she actually doing this. Okay. Oh my god. What? Your strength. Okay. And now. You have to remove some more skin. Like with your mouth. Yeah, like that. There. like That's what you're going to do. Ah. Video of you. I'm oh. taking a video of him right yeah. now. Okay. Yeah, you wanna like go hard? <coughs> okay, yeah. Whoa. So like <coughs> I don't know. I just sit like me. Yeah. You have to spit out, spit off the sour, the bitter hmm? taste. And oh. <laughs> oh. No, 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 don't swallow it. Spit it out. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Video. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we're here and we just got this amazing meal. We went snorkeling and we didn't see any dolphins, but that's okay. It looks like we got some rice, some watermelon. I'm not sure what this is. What is this like a giant cucumber? Oh, it's huge. Look at this giant cucumber. And then pineapple. What are these? Potato. Oh, potato. Yep. And then um, this is some red snapper. This looks so delicious. I cannot wait. <laughs> Alright guys, so we had so much fun on Savo Island and we made two new friends now we're going to go over to Central Market and go explore the marketplace. Um, but yeah, it's a really great day and um, we didn't get to see dolphins but we did go snorkeling and we saw a whole bunch of coral reef. It was so beautiful and it was so much fun. Um, so if you guys get a chance, I would highly recommend Savo Island. Look who we randomly just ran into, you guys. The small was just walking down the street. Oh, Can't yeah. believe it. Very small. Yeah. Very, very small island, you guys. Only 50,000 people here. You might run into people you know. All right, guys. We are getting ready to take the Central Market bus. So excited to go see Central Market. We did have to go today because tomorrow on Sunday it's going to be closed. So make sure if you have plans to do it on the weekday or Saturday because a lot of things are closed on Sunday. Here at Central Market, but this is after they do all the selling. They have like some rubbish and some tents that they're taking down, it looks like. I'm gonna try to come here Monday morning to see all the vendors and get some fruit. This is kind of what it I what it looks like when everything's coming down. Fish. They sell fish in that place. Uh, shellfish over there. Oh. There's like a little bit of everything it looks like. Uh, oh, I was saying there's a little bit of everything it, it looks like when they're yeah, open. There yeah. All kinds of fruits and vegetables here in the morning. Do you need to get anything here? Huh? Do you need to get anything no. here? No. Okay. So we're just gonna turn around and go back. Okay. 
And so you guys, today we were supposed to go with church, to church with Jessica, who we met yesterday. Um, and I was so late to church, you guys. I thought I was going to get up at 6 a.m. And I ended up getting up at 9.30. I dragged myself to this church. Um, and so now we're all in church together. Hey, Arisa, what happened this? Right there. As we read through, we looked at Hebrews chapter 5, verse 8, where Jesus learned obedience by the things on which he suffered. Lord, rise. Be the structures of my being. I'm a man of God. I'm not a man from Haiti. I'm a man of God. I'm from eternity. And so far, I pray God, even for our evolution, young boys and young girls understand the identities and guys so church is all done and that was an all denominational church that they have the actual service is all the way in wellington new zealand and they filmed the service and then they put it on projectors all throughout the south pacific um, so this isn't just the only place that they have this church um, they have it in all, all the other um, almost all the other islands in the south pacific so it's kind of cool to go see the singing was really really good we definitely don't sing that well at the church I'm from, so that was really cool to go see that. Um, and right now I'm headed over to Breakwater Cafe to go see Alex. Um, we're gonna go grab some lunch, and then we're gonna re, uh, re-congregate later. And I think we're gonna hike up a hill and go see a viewpoint. So yeah, super fun day. Uh, this is kind of a typical Sunday. Um, lots of things are closed, so go to church if you're in the South Pacific and you get a chance. It's really, really fun. We decided to go over to the grocery store. Two of our party members are getting some breakfast uh, items. It's like a chain. This is not just a single store. There's a bunch of bulk shops. Oh, okay. Bulk shops are a chain here in the Solomon Islands. So if you guys see one, you'll know it's a chain. Why? Hey, I have a question for you. Why is the toilet paper pink? Uh, that's a good question. I don't know. It's a uh, very feminine toilet paper. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I wonder why it's pink. Does anyone know? Pink toilet paper, anyone? You guys, the Solomon Islands, they have their own brand. It's it's called Islands Own. So if, I'll try to focus in on it. If you guys are here and you see anything with Islands Own, this is going to be uh, something from the Solomon Islands. They also have coconut oil. Um, all kinds of coconut products. So, um, yeah, if you're here, just know that that's a Solomon Islands brand. I think there's some more Islands Own up here. Yeah, there's some coconut oil up there. That's Islands Own as well. If my phone will focus. Hey guys, so this is all of Chinatown that got burned down. And what year was it? 2019 that got burned down? Uh, 2020 maybe? Oh, 2020. Yeah. Yeah, all of Chinatown got burned down. So these are some of the shops that they had here. You can take a right over there. Yeah, yeah. And it looks like they never really recouped the buildings. Like nobody ever came back to tear them down or build them again. They're just kind of left here after afterwards. Well, there are some shops in here. Some new shops, cheap prices every day. It looks like or something. And there's our um, bulk shop. Yeah, for the most part. Hmm. After it got torn down, it didn't get rebuilt. If you see, there's a couple of buildings that weren't burned down. Those are mostly uh, owned by Solomon peoples. Ah, uh, no. I see. No? No? Chinese? But then Chinese? why did they not burn them down? They just didn't get the opportunity to? Good friends. Eh? Oh, good, oh friends. good friends. Oh, good friends. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. So they're the good Chinese. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly people from my. Uh, you're from Malaita, yeah? Yes. Mostly people from Malaita, they don't like a China. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't know what's happening. It's very complicated. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, yeah, you see? Huh. Gone. Japan. And you see, they'll say like, fuck Soga, or, you know, down, step down PM. Sogavare is the prime minister. Ah. So oh, China. Are, yeah. He's like a pro China guy. Ah, I see. 
Is he yeah. actual prime minister? Yeah, current prime minister. As a current prime minister. Yeah. <laughs> he was also prime minister at that time, but uh, he stepped down PM. Oh. <laughs> um, the current pr prime minister deal with the China to make um, quite the, the yeah. stadium and the road? Uh, no, Japan made the road. Japan? Yeah, Japan made it. China made the stadium. Okay. Yeah. But they're not coordinating, so the water keeps overflowing and destroying the road. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's what it is. Okay. If you see, there's one shop called Rainbow Shop up ahead. Uh, I saw the Chinese people who own the shop the other day, staring at it. So what keeps the Chinese from coming here permanently? Uh, What's the, I mean, they do. What, what, do keep, what keeps the Chinese, what, what prevents them from? Oh, you see that one? Uh, yeah. Yeah, like the steel is bent and everything, it's crazy. Right? Yeah. What keeps them from coming here? Well, what I mean is like, what prevents the Solomon from just Which outlawing the Chinese and telling them not to come oh, here and build buildings? Cool, yeah. yeah. Sorry? The, what, what, what prevents the Solomon people from yeah. from telling the Chinese not to come back and build more buildings here? Uh, like, how could. do the Chinese have the foothold here? Because um, they're building infrastructure? Because they're or? willing to come here and do business and... Yeah. The government could stop them. I mean, there's no... But there's some money coming from China, them. so they don't they don't want to. Or? Yeah, because they get a lot of money and okay. you know they pay off. Like the, the, sta the stadium was built by China and those yeah, kinds of China aid yeah. and everything. Like there's a lot of uh, infrastructure benefits, right? If someone's yeah. willing to invest in your country and do all that, people are you know not willing to say like buzz off. Yeah, they just don't want the cultural switch from native to. Yeah, and it's also yeah, it's that makes complicated sense. Because you see, like if you go to the Chinese shops, the Chinese people they typically they sit up like very high, yeah. and they look down on everyone, and it's just they're you know, discriminating they're not very nice, against the, you know, yeah, these the people here. Like I mean, if you're nice to them, they're nice, but uh, they just don't come off as very like nice to Solomon people. Not welcoming, yeah. Yeah, well, they're yeah. not welcoming too much. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, they've always always been nice to me, but I just stick to them a little. Uh,